So hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can refresh a Power BI dataset using Power Apps. Yes! So here's the thing, I showed you last week how I created a Power App connected to a SharePoint list to be able to write back to Power BI. I will put the link down below and up here somewhere. And you guys ask me, okay, will the, ref the data source refresh once I input the data? And the answer is no, because SharePoint is not a direct query in Power BI, or I haven't been able to make it work. Let me know if you know how to do that. <laughs> but I am going to show you, I'm going to still going to use SharePoint, but change that to SQL or any other direct query source. Uh, you have here the list of direct query sources. So pick any of the direct query sources and this will work. These steps are exactly the same. Okay, so the first thing we need to have is our report published in Power BI. So I have published here on Power BI service and I'm in edit mode. We need to create a Power App from Power BI, my understanding. Okay, so click on the Power BI app icon and we were going to put row ID and update discount. Those are the two fields that we want to have on our app. We're going to go create new and this will take us to Power Apps. And is creating the Power BI connection and you know creating the first steps of the app. One thing that I think is a pity is that it's not going to create a full app. We need to create that app ourselves which it was a good tutorial for me anyhow i've never done it before so fine but i wish that it was a fully customized app already from the beginning uh, but i'll show you it would be a tutorial how to create an app from the beginning anyhow you see here the power bi integration this is the thing that you need for the refresh to happen so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new screen and it's going to be a gallery the gallery is the first one that it shows up and we're going to remove the one that comes from, that it gets created from default because it just doesn't have a, any icons or anything, it's just a pain. So here we're going to put search. And now we need to connect this thing to a source because it's not connected to any source whatsoever. So I am going to change my environment to where I can actually connect. There we have it. So uh, we're going to use SharePoint. Here we have SharePoint. And uh, we are going to paste. I have here the SharePoint list with Roy Dio discount. Go and check the other video if you want to follow, really follow along. So this is SharePoint list. I'm going to paste it in there. And we're going to connect the app to that SharePoint list is the one called discounts connect and then i want to have a title and subtitles there is no images in there so there's no idea to even have one good so now we have the first part now we are going to call this browse screen next we're going to create a scrollable screen and we're going to get rid of everything in here we're going to call it details. You can call it anything you like. And this is going to be our, you know, when you click on, on the gallery here, it will show us the records. So we're going to go to insert forms display, put it there so it doesn't get to a source, get to the SharePoint source, we need to connect it. And you may think that because you've done that, you already know which fields to pull from where. Mm -mm -mm. You need to go in here, go to item, which I don't know why this is needed. It should know. <laughs> and then put selected. So you say this is the items in the gallery that I want to show you to show on the details. And then, you know, it fills it up. Okay. Now, I need to have some icons. I have to say, I really, I know some people are going to kill me for saying this, but I really miss Infopad. I loved Infopad. I made crazy things with Infopad and it was so much easier than this. 
Okay, action, navigate, and this will take us to the browse screen. You guessed it right. Awesome. And now we want to have also a an edit, so you can edit this thing. So we're going to insert icons, edit. You can import your own icons if you want, right? And this edit screen, we need to first have the edit screen, which we haven't created yet. So just leave the button there for now. We're going to hear new screen. Oh, I want to change the name of that. This is going to call details screen. And go to browse screen. This I want us to take to the details screen. So we're going to do action, navigate, detail screen. Perfect. You can press Alt and then test your app. Yeah, it's working. And then back and forward. Okay, next screen. We are going to do a insert, new screen, and then again, a scrollable one. We're going to delete all that stuff that is in there. We don't want it. And we're going to call this edit screen. And we're going to give it a title, which is this is going to do our new or edit screen. And we're going to add a form, which is an edit form. We need to connect it with our source. So we need to go data source, discounts, make sure that you don't use SharePoint, otherwise this won't work. Use SQL or any other dark query. I'm going to go to edit fields and get rid of the attachments. We don't want any attachments in here. And we need to do the exact same thing as we did before. We need to go here and uh, on select. No, wait, we're going to first create the button there, submit. And the submit button will go like that. So it is on select. We're going to submit the form. And the form is called actually form one. It, it actually tells you. It tries to guess what you're trying to do, which is correct. Submit form. And this is where we put the Power BI integration refresh. Again, this will only work if you have a direct query source. Okay, so submit, and then we I need to grab these and do on select, on success item. I need to do item, and we need to connect this. We need to do exactly the same as we did with the detail screen. We need to say the, the stuff that you see in the browse gallery, those are the ones that we want to show here. So here we have to put browse gallery select it for this to get populated. Otherwise it, will, it won't. It will be an empty stuff. And we don't want that. You see that it gets populated? Perfect. Now, what else do we want to do? We want to be able to, from the browse screen, this plus button should take us to a new form because there we want to, we don't have the edit form, we want to have the new form, which is form one. And then we want to be able to, we want to say navigate to the edit screen. Oh, it deleted. Okay, so let me add it again. New form, form one. So, and let's take it out. Yay! So, we need to say that on, not, not here, we need to pick this, the form. So, on success, that means if the form gets filled in correctly, what do we want to do? We want to actually navigate to the edit screen. Okay, and then do we have everything? Have we filled in this? No, on select, we want you to navigate to the edit screen. Okay, let's test this thing out. So we want to create one. Row ID 34. 
0 0.9 or maybe didn't do it. <coughs> Let me do it back instead. So we clearly see um, go here plus 95 0 0.6 submit oh there they are works perfect go in there 0 0.5 0 0.5 go back oh works perfect okay so now we have our app the only thing that we need to do is to save it this is app discount i did not save it right the navigation is terrible so let's see fingers crossed that this thing works so once you save it if you go back to power bi it will load okay so here we have all the stuff now because i use it with sharepoint as a source it's not going to update um you see uh if i add a new one 97 0.5 But if you have direct query sources like SQL, Azure, or on-prem, or analysis services, or there, the list is not long, but here you can see the ones that says yes, is the ones that have direct source, then it will update. Again, I could not, um, I, I could not get SQL to work for me, so I thought I'll do it anyway because the steps are actually the same. So this is how you create an app from the beginning and make it refresh the source.